nationally syndicated radio host and the editor-in-chief of Life Set, Laura Ingram. down. You all may uh, know me from TV and radio, uh, but my kids know me by most, my most important name, Mom. I'm a, a single mother of three adopted children. They're watching in Minnesota right now. And hi, kids. And I'm here tonight supporting Donald Trump. Because, like most Americans, I refuse to leave my kids a country that is worse off than the ones that my parents left me. Now, my grandparents were Polish immigrants. My parents, they grew up in Depression-era New England. My dad, he enlisted in the Navy in World War II. My mom, she waited tables until she was 73 years old. My dad, he worked at his car wash. My parents flew the flag at our house, and not just on the 4th of July. And they scrimped and saved. My mother made my clothes. She wore the same winter coat for 40 years. Any extra money in our house went into the bank for our education. And we learned that there is dignity in every job. Every job. No matter what you do. My brothers, uh, they picked tobacco and uh, delivered newspapers. I picked blueberries and raked lawns. We did what we had to do. You see, my parents didn't believe there were jobs that Americans wouldn't do. In the early 70s, I was a little kid, and I remember watching the news with my mom at night. And one night I asked her, I said, Ma, why are people burning the American flag? And she looked at me and she answered, Honey, because their parents didn't teach them about respect. You would have loved my mother. Respect. Respect. We see it in decline in America once again. The people don't respect the government. The government doesn't respect the people, not even our veterans. Politicians, hey, they don't respect the Constitution. Many do not respect the life of the infant in the womb or the elderly who languish alone. Others they don't respect the police. 
the men and women who risk their lives every day for every one of us. And, hey, many in public office, we know this all too well, don't we? Many in public office don't enforce or respect the rule of law. Isn't that right, Mrs. Clinton? That's right. <laughs> too many citizens, too many citizens and non-citizens don't respect our laws either. And many of our allies, they don't respect us anymore. My friends, it is really sad, it's heartbreaking to see this happen to the country that we love. This is our home. It belongs to us, to our children, to our grandchildren. It's where our dead are buried. And we deserve better, and we can do better. Like us, Donald Trump understands that we have to turn this around. We have to restore respect across all levels of society. Unlike us, Hillary Clinton believes the status quo is just fine because she helped create it. Trump knows that a nation without borders isn't a nation at all. But Hillary Clinton, ah, she doesn't believe in borders. Donald Trump knows that a country must put its citizens first, its own people first. Now, what about Hillary Clinton? Hillary Clinton thinks America is just another nation in a global order. Donald Trump, he understands that America's greatness, it comes from her people. It comes from her freedom. It comes from... Hillary Clinton, well, she believes our greatness can only be found in the ever-growing, bloated, government bureaucracy that only she, Her Majesty, can rule over. Can almost see the robes being placed over her shoulders. She believes that there's a government solution for every problem. No, Hillary, you're the problem. We were all, I was thinking about it back when I was in high school, back in 1979. We were in a mess back then too, right? We waited in line for gas. We waited for our hostages to come home. We waited for someone to convince us that the long national nightmare would soon be over. And then Ronald Reagan rode in just in time to restore our national confidence. Oh, he's watching us today. He's watching. He wrote in to restore our national confidence, restore our economy and our military. Today, many of our people wait for jobs. We wait for a strategy, any strategy to keep us safe. And our veterans, they die waiting for decent care.
Well, everybody, with Donald J. Trump, thank God that wait is over. It's done. Now, Donald Trump has pledged to work tirelessly to get our country back on track. I want to say this very plainly. We should all, even all you boys with wounded feelings and bruised egos, and we love you, we love you, but you must honor your pledge to support Donald Trump now, tonight, tonight. I hope they're listening to you. I hope they are listening. My friends, this is the most important election since 1980. I worked for Ronald Reagan, and I remember before he came along, we had, you know, things were bad. But today, you know, we have stagnating wages, we have skyrocketing health care costs, doubling of the debt, the threat of ISIS, the rise of China, and the Democrats' answer to all that is to nominate the woman who helped orchestrate America's decline. Now think about it, think about it. That has to be, that has to be some cruel joke, like, like skinny jeans on men or man buns or something like that. That's a bad joke. Now, I don't want I don't want to sit around and tell my kids stories someday about how great America used to be. Do you? We never give up. We rise to every challenge. We fight and we win. We're Americans. We need America, we need a president who believes in the Constitution and who will fight for us, not against us, treat us like an ally, not an enemy, fight alongside with us. We are not the enemy, we're the people. We're not your servants. You're ours. And uh, to all my friends, they're way up there in the press. I see you. Hello. Hello. To all my friends up there in the press, you all know why in your heart. Donald Trump won the Republican nomination. You know it. You know why he won it? Because he dared to call out the phonies, the frauds, and the corruption that has gone unexposed and uncovered for too long. Too long. Do your job.
Doing your job is a novel concept. And by the way, people on another cable network were talking about how there was no energy in the room last night. Why don't you sit here with the people? What a joke. America is on to you. Donald Trump, Donald Trump respects us enough to tell us the hard truths about what has happened to our country on issues like immigration, trade, our diminished status around the world, a, even in the face of unfair criticism and sheer hatred. They had their chance. Now it's our chance. America, let us tonight go forth and reject the politics of division. Let's defeat the Clinton machine. Let's send the consultants, the pollsters, and the lobbyists packing. Let's give the power back to the people. And let's elect Donald Trump President of the United States. God bless you and God